Good morning, Britain. Hurricane Irma slams into Florida with winds in excess of 110 miles an hour. More than three million homes are without power. And there are warnings of life-threatening storm surges as high as 15 feet. The bad news is that this is some big monster, but I think we're very well coordinated. Irma has claimed his first American victims. At least five deaths reported, with the storm now heading towards two of Florida's biggest cities. It's feared that figure will rise. Our correspondents will be live from the areas directly under threat. The ferocity of the hurricane has been captured by storm chasers battling to measure the speed of the winds with one gust measured at more than 140 miles an hour. Here, relief efforts are being stepped up to help the thousands of British people left homeless in the Caribbean, but their families claim that ministers have been slow to react and they've been abandoned by the government. Monday, 11th of September, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Good morning, Britain. It's uh, just gone six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. Susanna and I, obviously, as normal. And Twinkle Toes has deigned <laughs> to join us with her presence fresh from a Strictly dance floor. When is it that you can no, first fall over and get bombed floor. out in the first round? Um, so that's the 30th of September. Great, Thanks great. for that vote of confidence. Great. Shedding this my... is the moment that I was paired with Brendan. So yeah. I can come in safe hands. So how do you feel about Brendan? Is that a good, is that a yeah, good thing? Yeah, he's great because he's been it from the start. He knows it inside out. He's great at dancing. Unfortunately, I managed to finish this group dance slightly before everybody else. The timing I don't know how I did that. I mean, look, I'm no expert, although I can move, obviously. Um, but I did <laughs> notice you were a little off the pace. look! Yeah. Everyone else it. finished slightly after You see, me. here's my problem with this, which is that it's not just about you. If you were to go out early, it reflects badly on all of us. Not just not just in front of camera, but the production <laughs> crews, the guys in the. So you've all the... got to vote for me. In that no, case. I just I'm worried about it. It's like you know, this is you in our in your feet, literally, lie <laughs> our hands. Your reputation. Right. I mean, just take it seriously. I can't afford you going out early. I just can't. I'll do, just for you, I'll do my best. How about that? <laughs> well, we're all very proud of you, he says, but just slightly hedging our bets. You Thanks look terrific. Much. And Thank the timing doesn't that. matter. It looks like you're having the time of it's your life. It's a minor detail, yeah. Why don't you see, see how Bruno responds to the timing doesn't matter? <laughs> timing matters. It's a lot. I and you need to that, stand up at yeah? the same time. Bruno always stands up, does his chair tips yeah. over, there's a lot of drama. Yeah, around. I love Bruno. Bruno's my favourite judge of any show in the world. <laughs> Bruno Tonioli, he is. Uh, Charlotte, who's your favourite? I don't have favourites, obviously. I love Good. them all. And hopefully they'll be nice to me. Um, mm. Let's have a look at the weather this morning. Here's Alex. Hello, good morning. Well, as we know, it is a very uh, horrible, well, it's a horrible situation across the other side of the Atlantic at the moment. So I'll have you more on the hurricane as we head through the programme. But here back home, the weather is going to be fairly unsettled as we head through the next few days. This morning, we do have weather warnings in place across the southwest of England and southern parts of Wales. So very strong winds up to around 60 miles an hour. More on all of this in around 10 minutes. It's a, it's a bad one. This is a bad yeah. one. A particular thing of not just this massive hurricane, but they've got another massive one that's lurking in the background. They've Jose, not had yeah. two back to back like this for about 50 years. So, uh, I mean, mainland America certainly has not had that. But I think that also there's the other story of the Caribbean. Yeah. You know, we've I've got someone I know well coming on later on whose husband and two young kids, very young kids, she didn't hear from them for 35 mm. hours, I think, after it happened. Uh, they were in Totola in the British Virgin Islands. Mm. But even now, they can't get them out. Mm. They just can't get in there to get them out. The wreckage is so bad, mm. they can't actually get them out. Imagine having two little kids mm. and, and not, not being there. able to get, get to them three days after this thing obliterated their house. So a lot of British families are in this position with homes in the Caribbean just gone. Uh, Richard Branson's come out with pictures of his place in Necker just destroyed. I mean, we're talking like wipeout. I mean, Bar Antigua, which I love to go to, got away lightly. Mm. Barbuda next to it, completely destroyed. I mean, the island gone. Bang. And um, let's, um, let's have a look at the situation in Florida um, right now, because, of course, that's where Hurricane Irma is, uh, is pummeling this morning, our time. Uh, torrential rain, winds are up to 110 miles an hour. There are more than three million people who have no power at all. Parts of Miami are underwater. Well, the storm is now barreling towards Tampa Bay, which is home to three million people. Irma has been downgraded to Category 2 hurricane, but it's still producing dangerous storm surges. Up to five people have sadly already died. Well, Jonathan Swain is live for us in Orlando. Jonathan, Orlando has, has avoided the main eye of this hurricane, but we can see 
from where you are, clearly a pretty ferocious storm anyway. Well, Piers, let me tell you, this is what Irma looks, feels and sounds like. Uh, have the